Mafia 2000 also known as Dad Two Times Fifteen on Xbox Live. No, that, that, that's not gonna do. Get rid of the settings. And right, in three, two, one, and take two action. Hello everybody, I'm Dan, I'm Philly Tree 2000, also known as Dan 2015 on Xbox Live, and welcome to WWE Survivor Series Predictions. Uh, this is going to be big, and my god, it's Smackdown this is Raw, Raw this is Smackdown, no NXT this time because of what's going on in the world, um, but hey, still Survivor Series, damn it, it is indeed the farewell to the Undertaker. 30 years it's been in the business. Man, that's a long time. That's that's practically one year younger than I am. So the Undertaker's been in the WWE one year less than I am. Because I'm 31 years old myself. Even though the Undertaker's older than me, he's been in the business in WWE less time that in the last amount of years that I've been alive so I still don't know how that works <laughs> that's a weird 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 thing so I've been alive pretty much the same amount of time that the Undertaker's been in WWE for and yeah the Undertaker's older than me so <laughs> uh, well I'll tell you this well he made his in 1990 we saw the uh, Debut of The Undertaker. Now in, nine, in 2020, 30 years later, we're going to say goodbye to The Undertaker and some virus series. But on to the first lot of predictions. So let's do this. Well, we've got the five on five traditional survivor series matchup. We've had loads of leaves over the years. Where a team of one thigh takes on another team on another thigh. And this year's not going to be any different. And the rules as it was followed, pinfalls and submissions count and disqualifications and counters. If you get pinned, you're eliminated. If you submit, you're eliminated. If you get DQ'd, you are eliminated. And if you get counted out, you're eliminated. The last team standing is the, survi uh, with the survivors are the winners. Once you've eliminated all your uh, once you've eliminated all your members of the team, you win. <laughs> So that's now, obviously there are no captains this year, it's just Team Raw, there's a Team Smackdown, and I'll go through uh, two different types of predictions, and who and uh, for you guys that are just tuning in, the way I do my predictions is this way. Who I think is going to win is basically who WWE have booked to win, and who I want to win is my own personal opinion. There's, there's all going to be scenario opinions, because this is the Survivor Series. And now, of a, who gets eliminated first, and who's going to be who I think is going to be a lone survivor on it compared to each team of each scenario. So, who do I think is going to win? Team SmackDown. Who do I want to win? Team Raw. This is going to be a tough one to choose. But, so, in scenario number one, where Team Raw wins, uh, who do I think is going to be eliminated from each team, and who's going to be the survivors? And who's going to get eliminated first? Now, if you first of all, let's look at the teams. Team Raw has the so-called self-proclaimed phenomenal one, A. John Styles, as the captain, self-proclaimed. Then you got the monster among men, Braun Strowman, and well, the limitless one, Keith Lee. And we've got Riddle, or I, as I like to say. For people that have their names changed, Matt, I refuse to call him just Riddle. <laughs> but yes, so, uh, Riddle and she the Celtic R Warrior Seamus. That is a tough team, however, they have not been too great when it comes to trying to work in as a team on my overall Monday Night Raw. Uh, however, when it comes to Team SmackDown, we have Kevin Owens, Otis, who was chosen at the last minute. Jay Uso, Seth Rollins, and King Corbin who represented SmackDown two years in a row. So this one's gonna be a tough one because I, there is no team captain on the on the team. However, I'd like to say if anything, either these dollar and three people could be the captain in my eyes. Jay Uso because he's recently got a lot of heat. Seth Rollins because he's the Messiah. And King Corbin because he's the king of the ring. Now, 
Who will get eliminated first? Scenario one says that Otis, unfortunately, will get uh, uh, eliminated first. On the SmackDown side, or on Raw side, if I had to pick someone to get eliminated first, I'd say I'd say Matt. I'd say Matt Riddle, just because out of all of them, I think is yeah. Because although there's going to be a lot of dysfunction, uh, but the next one on SmackDown's team, if I was to pick them to make it equal again, the next one to get eliminated, I reckon it would be Kevin Owens. So that'll be that. Then the next one on Raw to be eliminated, I would say, if anything, would it be key? I would say would be either Braun Strowman or, or Sheamus because those two are button heads, and Keith Lee will be down at the end. Next one to be eliminated on SmackDown side, if I'm gonna go for uh, that, if I'm gonna go for uh, Jey Uso, Seth Rollins, and I am King Corbin, the reason why I say Kevin Owens will probably be eliminated. Thirst because, it, it, although you know, I would say Seth Rollins because of Matt, because of Buddy Murphy, and King Corbin will be there with Jay at the end. So now be uh, now left with you know, with Sheamus or Braun Strowman alongside with Keith Lee and AJ Styles, and that makes I'd say for Raw, uh, the Raw's team to get elim eliminated, if it goes in this order, would be Keith Lee. If it was, it's going, if it does that, you know, one team gets to let alone survivor. So I, I would say Keith Lee would be next. Next to be eliminated on the SmackDown side of things, I would say would be Jay Uso. Now I say this because of the fact that King Corbin would make a very great lone survivor. The reason why, because of the promos that he will give the following weeks to say that I took my team to victory. It's a good opportunity, don't ruin it. But the lone survivor for me, if the King Corbin gets eliminated from the, the, the Team Raw, would be AJ Styles. To prove that, you know, no one else was working as a team. There's one or two things that's going to happen with AJ Styles. Because his team is dysfunctional, he might walk out first and get counted out. And or he'll be the lone survivor and take out uh, Team SmackDown all by himself. Because all oh, everyone this is my opinion. And, and my second scenario is this because the Raw's been dysfunctional so lately, it'll be a case of it'll be riddle. He it'll be riddle, Seamus. Strowman eliminated. Keith Lee trying to fight back and Tim Middleton Styles, but he gets eliminated. Meaning even it's a five on one. Styles then gets rid of Otis. Just like that. Then he gets rid of the, uh, Kevin Owens. Just like that. Because of Buddy Murphy uh, distracts himself from Rollins. Seth Rollins goes. Then he gets rid of Jey Uso or King Corbin and then he wins. The entire thing by again with uh, Jay Uso and whatever. But that is my predictions for this one as we go on to the next match. And that was the. And we're back as we got the 5 on 5 Women's Survivor Series team uh, coming up on the next on the match cards. Now, this one's a bit of everyone here, and, and even on the last one, qualified apart from Otis who was picked by SmackDown at the last minute and I'm gonna say before and carry on for this prediction is for all those smart asses out there who thought it was gonna be the Undertaker doing his last matchup. No, it's his farewell. Bye bye. No more matches for him. Okay? Even he doesn't know what's gonna happen and it ain't gonna be a fight it's not gonna be him on, on Team SmackDown because he's not even on the SmackDown active roster. That's why they chose Otis. Otis, I prefer the Undertaker being on the team because at least he's an active roster member. But carrying on to the women's one, we have Raw vs SmackDown, SmackDown vs Raw, 5 on 5 eliminations, and you know the rules, pinfall submissions, DQ and countouts uh, can cause eliminations. Now going on to who do I think and who do I want. Now Raw again hasn't been functioning so I think it'll be SmackDown and I want Raw to function as a team. So it's the same as the men's one, but let's go through the members of each team. For Team Raw, you've got Peyton Royce, 
the women's tag team champions Nia Jax and Shayna Baszler, Lacey Athens and Lana. On to the SmackDown team, who all can fairly earn their spot into it, apart from Bailey, who was chosen at the last minute. We have Bianca Belair, Ruby Riot, and Liv Morgan, the Riot Squad, Natalia, and of course there's Bailey, as I mentioned just a second ago. And now let's go for my different scenarios. Now, scenario one is a case of I think it'll just be a complete domination from Team SmackDown. That's simple because Raw will not like Nia Jax will take out Lana. I know there's the, I'll get to Lana's scenario after this one too. Nia Jax and Shayna Baszler will put Lana for a table and get carried away and get them both sent both sent back as a DQ as Lana Nia Jax and Shayna Baszler will be eliminated first in my opinion because there will be too much disqualification. That will get Peyton Royce and Lacey Evans mad, thinking what's going on. You know, Lacey Evans will be on the apron, Peyton Royce will be in the ring, Peyton Royce will get eliminated. Lacey Evans looks over at Lana, she's still out. She looks and sees everyone in the ring. Lacey's like, well, I'm out. Because <laughs> then, like, Bailey does. Maybe Amy does a belly to Bailey. Natalia does a discus clothesline and she gets back up. Luke Morgan and then Ruby Wyatt do up a team. She does the Gorilla Press onto oh, whatever her first move onto Lacey Evans. Then they pin Lacey Evans 1, 2, 3. This is when Lana's come into play. The other type of one or two things that's going to happen after that, after she's been put that through that freaking table. Say so Bailey will go, okay. I've got this. Picks up Lana, throws her in the ring, and she toys with the, the, the smack because the raw, t the SmackDown, sorry, the SmackDown team. She pins Lana, goes and then one, two, picks her up. This is now. Nah, I've got this. This is too easy. So she picks up Lana, she slaps her around. Says, "Come on, fight back!" And she's like, "Ugh." Ugh. Try to fight back. Bailey goes in the corner as drags Lana into the corner. Shows Lana, the weakened Lana, to everyone of Smack and says, I am the best, or whatever, the, the best of all time. That makes Natalia mad. She does a furious tag to Bailey, gets in the ring, goes, and then goes, No, I'm the best, I'm the best of all time. Lana rolls up Nat Natalia. One, two, three. Natalia, gone. She gets mad and just leaves the ring in frustration. In comes Liv, starts to, you know, tries to, you know, does a new fresh press or something, and gets reversed into like a busting crab and she kicks well she doesn't a trip it to her I'd say she kicked kicked out turns around does a little trip it to her husband uh Liv powers down easily because you know just uh you know because you know it's a uh, thing she puts her in the corner tag team Ruby they go to do the tag team finish but Ruby hits Liv and another roll up one two three Ruby's out of there Liv is like, oh my god, no! She gets in the ring. I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry. Another roll up, one, two, three. Liv's out of there. Bianca's like, oh my god. She looks at Bailey. Bailey's like, um, well, yeah, come on. She does that little slap, and you, you know, you want to get in there? She's like, I'm going to slap her silly. She grabs her. Got Scott Lana above my head. She looks at Bailey, drops her down. Turns around, turns to the small package, one, two, three, boom! Bailey's left alone with Lana. Lana's survived this far, she's been put through a table, she's survived. And of course, well, Bailey then just picks up the Bailey to Bailey suplex, sends an elbow one, and does that driver onto her, knocks Lana out and wins. 
She's the lone survivor. Bailey is the lone survivor. That is what I think is going to happen here. Because if you think about it, that would be the perfect story. You'd be like, oh, look, it came so close. She pinned everyone. Even Bianca Belair. And now, and but Bailey put the dream. She, she really takes the dream away for once and for all. Top heel in the antics. That's what I think will happen in this one. As we move on to the next matchup, folks. And we're back to the next match. And of course, the next matchup is the first champion versus champion matchup. We've got the United States champion Bobby Lashley from the Hurt Business versus, of course, the Intercontinental Champion of SmackDown, Sami Zayn. Now, I'd like to say, who do I think is going to win? Bobby Lashley. Who do I want to win? This one's a tough one. I don't even, I don't want Sami Zayn to win, so I'm going to say I want Bobby Lashley. This is going to be a uh, spear, Lashley lock, that's, and then that's it. Because there's no way to hit it. And that's a corner, so yeah, it doesn't count out victory or, or a DQ victory, then Sami Zayn's got no chance. I mean, these two have got a lot of history with each other, trust me. Uh, <coughs> sister! <coughs> sister! 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 <coughs> oh, no, sorry. Got a bad feel. Um, but seriously, though. No. <laughs> uh, after the humiliation that Sami Zayn has put Bobby Lashley through a couple of years ago, I think this is going to be a way for Bobby Lashley to get his revenge and just beat the shit out of Sami Zayn. And it's going to be entertaining as well as hell. Uh, <laughs> So yeah, that's my predictions. Bobby Lashley all the way, beat Sami Zayn up, leave. Hell, he can even hold both the championship over it, above his head at the end of the matchup. That would be great to see and just say, here is your championship back. This is the true champion of the United States. Next matchup. And we're back. And the next match is, well, the Raw Tag Team Champions versus the SmackDown Tag Team Champions. Of course, the Raw Tag Team Champions on the NEW DAY! And, well, considering this is the only red cup I have here, and they're going to be taking on the Street Profits, which are who are the SmackDown Tag Team Champions. Now, it's kind of it's kind of really pointless. They can split up the New Day where, Raw, where Kofi and Woods ended up on Raw because of the draft. And Biggie and it's still on SmackDown. Then and then the Street Profits ended up on SmackDown, so they needed to trade the titles over. Here you go, here you go. But here's the thing: what makes no sense of why they're doing this match? If they were planning to do this match anyway, they could have just kept the new day on freaking SmackDown after winning the SmackDown Tag Team Titles. I mean, Shinsuke Nakamura and Cesaro ended up still on SmackDown anyway, so what difference does it make? This was the most pointless thing ever. A. Pointlessly splitting up the new day. B. Pointlessly making this matchup. And C. It's a babyface team versus a babyface team. These things don't work. However, I'm going to make my predictions, and this is going to be a great matchup for sure. Now, do not, and I repeat, do not turn the Street Profits heel. Because I've, you can't do it with New Day, it won't work. It didn't work with originally, and it won't work now. But it, pro it could work with the Street Profits. If you turn the Street Profits heel, after losing to the New Day, because this is one, there are two scenarios I'm going to make for this one. First of all, who do I think is going to win? It's a very tough one to say, but I think it's going to the New Day. However, I want the Street Profits. They are such a good team, really, both of these. Do not have a sore loser in, losers in the Street Profits. If, because here's what I say scenario wise. Scenario 1. The New Day and the Street Profits have a really fantastic matchup, but the New Day get the best of the Street Profits, hitting with their finisher, that New Day move that that uh, Corey Gray, uh, not Corey Graves, uh, Tom Phillips came up with. I don't know what it was called, but I'm gonna call it the up, up, down, down. I can't remember the name of it. 
Anyway, they hit their finishing move, then they beat them fair and square. They turn a little dance and they're uh, celebrating with the the drum bar, 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 bar and you see a street belt that's uh, holding their titles and they they're holding their heads like this. Still holding the titles though. And they do they get back down onto the ring in the ring and they turn around. They have got the tiles around on their shoulders and they go if he goes like that. Yeah, they're doing this, you know. Will they? Won't they? And of course, Android Dawkins is like, oh, I mean, Montez Ford is like, yeah, good job, well done. He just shakes Kofi's hand. Does the same thing with Xavier. Does a little hug. And then, now, what you see Montez do, he basically passes, he says, oh man. He gives before he hugs, before he hugs, uh, he, uh, Xavier, he hands over the title so he can hug his oh man, come here man, come here, come here, and then, what he does, and then he goes, wham, throws him into, uh, into Kofi, Kofi's down, what, he looks up, and then, then you see, Angelo Dawkins with the title belt, wham! Knocking out Xavier Woods. And they just go, wham! 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 And beat up the New Day. That would be kind of good and kind of bad. It'd be unexpected. Or it's just a case of can shake hands, shake hands, well done. That's scenario two. End of story. As we go on to the next matchup. Well, the next match is the Raw Women's Champion Oscar Hanks on SmackDown Women's Champion Sasha Banks. This had no build up to it whatsoever apart from the fact it's, it's champion versus champion. Now who do I think is going to win? Hmm, Oscar. Who do I want to win? Sasha Banks. However, this is all. We all know what's going to happen. It'll be Carmella that will cost Sasha Banks the matchup. Now, if you noticed on Raw, oh, sorry, not on Raw, SmackDown, then when in the middle, like she did, we had all these references to legends, and I had from uh, coming from Oscar's mouth, we had, oh, you didn't know, your ass better call somebody, which is a reference to the road dog Jesse James and the uh, New Age Outlaws, which, well, we're heels, and. And you can see me from Oscar with a reference to John Cena, who was a kind of baby face. Now, I mean, yeah, the road dog can the hard work in general, but they were guys, but at the same time, most of the time they were heels. Because you're like, but in the end, it was good guys. But anyway, then she did that little, you know, her, no one's ready to ask her. But I think she knew, like, what com was come out that Camilla, once again, after the three weeks in a row, was behind Sasha Banks and attacking, went to attack Sasha Banks. And, she, and Asuka just stood there to say, she didn't even didn't try to stop it. She didn't even join in. She just stood and I was like, mm, that's it. Worked out my opponent for her. Something like serious. So, no, either she still hasn't forgiven. What Bailey has done, what Bailey did to Kyrie Zane, and she wants a weakened Sasha Banks, or they're gonna try and get her to be heel again, which is making no sense whatsoever. I, I think maybe it's just like a little bit of like, hey, you, I'm gonna let my opponent be weak for a Survivor Series, but that's a bit of a dickish move if you ask me. She's gonna at least try to, you know. Back her off and say, leave her for me. I want some for Survivor Series. But she didn't do nothing. She just stood there. So that's going to be interesting to see this matchup unfold. But I us go for what I say. And I think it'll be Oscar. And I want Sasha Banks to win this one. So, you know. It's the bank statement versus the Oscar lock. Who will tap out first? We'll find out on some live series, and I will go on to my last match, I believe. And we're back! 
And the main event, ladies and gentlemen, as the head of the table, the Tribal Chief from SmackDown, the Universal Champion with his counselor Paul Heyman, will be taking on the brand new two-time WWE Champion, the uh, the, the psychopathic Scotsman, Drew McIntyre, representing Monday Night Raw here, of course. And this one's gonna be oh, a freaking hoss fight, as they say. Um, oh, a massive fight. I even, it even said originally to do battle against Universal Champion, and I was like, nah, we'll stick with Versus. <laughs> because they, this is gonna, but it will be a war. It's Claymore versus Spear, Super. I don't even really like calling it a Superman Punch, so I'm gonna call it the Tribal Man's Punch versus the. Future Shark DDT, man, I can see fists flying in this one. And I'll tell you this, Paul Heyman is, as I say it, once I say it again, Paul Heyman is more scared of Roman Reigns than he is Brock Lesnar. Could you imagine if Brock Lesnar was to come back and start teaming with Roman Reigns? they will be an unstoppable team, and this will be Power Trip 2.0. But Drew McIntyre versus Roman Reigns. I can't wait for this one. I can't help my finger who I want to win this one. I think you will See, I'd like to say I think it's going to be Roman Roman Reigns. Because he's the big dog. The tribal chief. The head of the table. But I want Drew McIntyre to knock his smirky little face off. And that is why I don't... I mean, it would have been good on SmackDown when I did the little sign, contract signing where Drew McIntyre had signed it without any remorse and then Roman could have just said all what he said, everything and then when he got to the ramp and Paul Heyman gave him a mic and said oh yeah and one more thing there's a difference between you and me I learned to read the fine print as the matchup isn't just for you know the glory of being the number one champion it's to be the champion of champions. And then because Giants dropped the mic and to set up a champion versus champion, winner takes all. But well, I guess then not doing that just yet. So just got a champion versus champion, and this is gonna be a good one. Now that's for sure. But that is my predictions for Survivor Series. I can't wait to do my reactions to it and my review of it. That's going to be good. Or let me know in the comments, or if you don't and just like the video, who you think. Let me know who you, you think is going to win the live series. Or if you, if you don't like, please feel to throw a like and subscribe and share my videos and look at my other playlist and all that uh, all that jazz. As it's in now, I'm down now for the Treat 2000 or so. No, it's the Entry Challenge 15 on Xbox Live. And until next time, bye bye. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you want to watch the previous video, click on the video on the left. But if you want to watch the playlist, then click on the video on the right. Also, feel free to click subscribe by clicking on the Master Chief icon on the top.